right, let's take a look at this question. This one goes over interest revenue and it's talking about a single step income statement, all right? So if you looked at some of the other questions that we've already done in a multi-step income statement, you're gonna find out that it breaks down information so you can really get a hold of what's going on in the company and it divides it up between operating and non-operating. It also breaks out your sales, your returns and allowances, and it gives you your cost of goods sold all together so you can get your gross profit as well. But a single step just essentially says, we're gonna throw everything in the kitchen sink into two breakouts, revenue and expenses nothing more than that. So we could be mixing up operating and non-operating and both of those classifications. So does the interest revenue on a single step income statement appear in the non-operating section? Well, that's not true because there is no operating versus non-operating. It's all just thrown together. So A can't be the answer. What about B? appears in the other revenue and gain section, there is no other revenue and gain section. There's either revenue or expenses. So B can't be the answer. C, does it appear in revenue with net sales? Yeah, you've got revenue, you've got, uh, what else you got in there? You got revenue, you got interest, revenue, you've got gains and losses on sales of equipment. You got all kinds of stuff that's going on in that revenue section. Now I'm more of a purist, I like revenue that is strictly has to do with the sale of your goods, right? But at the end of the day, when you have a single step, you gotta throw everything into one of two classifications. So if it's in revenue, it could be revenue from the sales of your product, interest revenue gains, or losses from your sales. What about, um, what about D, as part of gross profit? We don't do a gross profit setup in a single step income statement. We only do that in multi-step where we actually have the sales with all of the contra revenue accounts, all that revenue that we have, and then we have the cost of goods sold subtracted out to get to our gross profit. So D is not the answer. As I said, we look at revenue and it includes everything that's in there. So in this case, interest revenue goes into that revenue section along with net sales. So C is going to be your answer.